My name is Emma, and my journey to self-discovery has been a whirlwind of emotions, surprises, and transformations. Growing up, I always felt different but couldn't quite pinpoint what it was. I was born a boy, and for the longest time, I tried to fit into that mold, doing everything expected of me. But deep inside, there was a part of me yearning to break free, to express itself in ways that didn't align with the identity I was given at birth. One day, while rummaging through my sister's closet out of sheer curiosity, I stumbled upon a collection of dresses that immediately caught my eye. There was one in particular, a shiny, pink outfit that seemed to call out to me. Without thinking too much about it, I slipped it on. It felt strange at first, the tight fabric hugging my body in ways I wasn't used to, but as I looked at myself in the mirror, a sense of euphoria washed over me. For the first time, I saw a reflection that resonated with how I felt inside. I started experimenting more, trying on different dresses whenever I had the chance. Each time I did, I felt more and more like the person I was meant to be. It wasn't just about the clothes, it was about embracing a part of myself that I had kept hidden for so long. The more I explored this side of me, the more I realized that the boy I was born as was just a chapter in my story, not the entire book. Telling my family was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I was terrified of their reactions, of losing their love and support. But I knew that living a lie was not an option anymore. To my surprise and immense relief, my sister was incredibly supportive. She was the first person I confided in, and she helped me break the news to our parents. There were tears, difficult conversations, and a lot of adjustments, but eventually, they came to understand and accept my true self. I began transitioning, not just in how I dressed, but in every aspect of my life. It was a long and sometimes painful process, but it was also incredibly liberating. With each step, I felt more aligned with my true identity. I started going by Emma, a name that felt right and reflected the woman I was becoming. Now, looking back, I can't imagine ever going back to living as that boy. I am proud of who I am and the journey I've taken to get here. Wearing that first dress was the catalyst for a transformation that has made me happier and more fulfilled than I ever thought possible. I used to be a boy, but now, I am Emma, and I am never going back.